Hey everybody, this is John. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my purple sweet potato slips and how I am getting them ready to put into the garden in a few months. That will be right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Now in this bag, I have something really special. It is a purple sweet potato. If you guys have never heard of a sweet potato, that's okay. I didn't know there was such a thing either until I watched a video from uh, Health and Homestead that was talking about the Japanese purple sweet potato. And if you know anything about nutrition, your purple vegetables, your darker uh, colored vegetables, have a lot of uh, specific uh, components in it that are really beneficial. And I'm not even going to try, try to pronounce what that specific component of the darker red and purple veg uh, vegetables are. But um, since I don't eat a lot of purple vegetables, I don't eat eggplants and... Um, we have a hard time growing um, some of the other darker purple colored vegetables. I figured why not try growing a purple sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes and so I was like alright let's do purple. <laughs> so I bought the Maloakai, I believe is how it's pronounced, purple sweet potato. If I remember right this, uh, the origins of this are Hawaii and you can get uh, sweet potato slips of uh, the Maloa Kai sweet potato slips from Baker Creek. I actually purchased a tuber, a potato from somebody um, on Facebook Marketplace who was selling them as uh, tubers and for me that's what I wanted to go with because um, it's cold still and sweet potatoes are uh, tropical in nature and so if somebody was to try to send me uh, sweet potato slips right now they would die in the really cold temperatures just being shipped where if you send me the potato the cold's not really going to do it too much of a damage and I can grow my own sweet potatoes so I got the potato um, a couple of months ago and then I just kept it in that plastic bag you saw there with some aeration holes in it and this is part of one of the potatoes that I got I actually broke it in half and uh, so this is the other half of it and it scabbed over fine and it's not molding or anything because of the way that I have kept it in the paper bag I put the other half of this in water about two weeks ago and about three days after I put it in the water, I started seeing the little tiny hairs of roots forming that help the slips start to grow from the tuber. A week later, um, from when I had actually planted that, um, I had little tiny buds forming on the face of the tuber. Today is basically a week after those little tiny buds started forming on the tuber. Let me show you what my sweet potato plant looks like right now. So this is my sweet potato slip, my plant. It's only a week old. And you can see that this one slip here is very, very long, probably about three feet long. And then this one, it's almost two feet long and then I've got a couple others that are starting there um, but you can see look at the roots that are in that and this is only in water not in any soil but uh, this potato it just goes to show how much nutrition is in this tuber that it has put out this much healthy growth from that little tiny piece of a potato. 
Um, if you don't know how to grow sweet potatoes like this, it's very simple. As you can see, I put a piece of the potato with some sticks in it in a jar of water. I will put links above um, to the sweet potato videos I did on how to grow these guys. And this is how you grow sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes grow from these plants here and you can't just put one of these in the ground like you do a regular like a russet potato. They don't grow the same at all. Uh, these grow on vines. So uh, we'll put a link, like I said, above to both videos I did on how to grow sweet potatoes. When it gets closer to time to plant these guys, because I won't plant them probably until uh, May or June, I will definitely do a video on how to plant them in uh, the containers I'm planting them in. Um, they're growing really fast because uh, right behind me, I don't know if you can tell, <laughs> um, they are in an area that has a wood stove. And in this particular room, it gets uh, 90 degrees easily. Sometimes if we put walnut or really dry ash in the wood stove, we get almost 100 degrees in here. This loves that heat. Really, really does. So if you have plants like this, this is um, getting a little too big um, to maintain here because this is just March and I can't plant these till almost June when it'll be warm enough. You can actually eat these. So you can take and I would probably cut it right here, cut it right in half right here or maybe even cut it down a little bit further because there's still quite a bit of growth coming off these. Um, the same with here. You can cut it down in half and you can actually eat the sweet potato leaves in your salad or just, you know, take them and just pop them off. I'll do one of the smaller ones and see it. Like so. And it's very healthy. It's a very good way for you to get your greens when you don't have a garden yet. Um, so yeah, so you can eat these guys until it's time to plant them outside. So I just thought I'd show you that. The sweet potatoes, the purple sweet potatoes. Beautiful, gorgeous plant. And I can hardly wait to see what kind of potatoes it produces this year in my garden. Thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you think purple sweet potatoes are something you might want to try. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you continue to follow me along on what's going on here on Garden Jen's Journey. Until next time everybody, I hope that wherever you are, you're wonderfully blessed. Take care.